Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Clossy of CBLT. How are you today? Very excited, Tracy. We're having good results in the field. How are you? Cobalt. Cobalt is very hot, not only for investor intel, but the overall market is very receptive to it. And let's just start with the fact that you're in Canada, which is the third what third top producer for cobalt in the world. That's correct. So let's start with where you're located, please. Well, we like reliable mining jurisdictions. So Canada is one of the best in the world. We're in British Columbia, Quebec, and Ontario. Our principal assets are in Ontario and Quebec. But what I really like is that you're very close to an actual producer, Glencore, is that correct? Our main gold cobalt asset in Sudbury is directly next door to the, the, the world famous Sudbury smokestack, now owned by Glencore. I was reading a little bit about you because you seem to be the, the speaker on the cobalt industry and, and, and what cobalt is in general. I didn't know that 60% of the, of the weight of my battery my cell phone is from cobalt. Is that correct? Cobalt's an amazing metal. It, um, it's in everything and, and we don't know it's there. There's a global shortage of it. Prices have been skyrocketing. 60% of the weight of your battery in your phone is cobalt. The, the new Tesla Model 3 that has been all over the news Every car needs 15 kilograms of cobalt. If they make half a million, that's seven and a half million kilograms of cobalt just for one model of one car. And of course, I keep speaking to CEOs in the public markets and saying there's a lot of jets on the tarmac right now, Peter. Why are we going to select CBLT? What makes you so competitive? Well, management is horrifically cheap with the shareholders' money. We spend it well, we spend it wisely. As a result, we don't have a lot of shares outstanding and that means value goes to the shareholders. We have strong properties, we have strong teams, and we were one of the early movers in this market. We bought good properties at great pricing. And it's my understanding the grade is competitive. Absolutely. So can you tell us what we should anticipate, say for this next uh, couple of quarters, Peter? We're a junior exploration company, so we're exploring. We have results coming from our Chilton Cobalt property in Quebec. Those should be out in the next week or two. We've taken more samples from the main gold and cobalt asset in Sudbury. Those should be out in the next week or two. And we've also done some prospecting and boots and hammer work at Dryden Cobalt. That should be out in the next two or three weeks. And we've just found out that the Ontario government will be conducting work of its own on our Auto Township property near Larder Lake, Ontario. They find it so geologically fascinating, they will spend taxpayers' dollars helping to advance the property, and we get all the data. So just one final note, because I know you're such a, an advocate against conflict minerals. Can you tell us just a little bit more about cobalt currently and where most people are getting their cobalt? Most of the cobalt in the world comes from the Congo. It's controlled by the Chinese private equity and the Chinese government. Once it's extracted, it's processed and shipped over the great big red wall into China. We don't know what happens there, what it's commingled with, how they make the battery arrays, where it's sold. But when it comes out of the ground, much of it is being produced by child labor, slave labor, and men working in conditions that are horrific, to say the, the least. There's Ebola, conflict, corruption. People have died in the Congo. They continue to die there in Africa's war. As a result, Amnesty International and the Enough Project have been agitating for the imposition of an ethical supply chain. And we think we can produce ethical cobalt out of Canada and support Amnesty in its efforts. Uh, so, Peter, thank you so much for joining us today. It's nice to see you again. Always good to see you. Thanks for being back.